Everybody, this is Renegade Rousey, and you are watching the Left of Boxing Show, and what a fight we just witnessed between James Kirkland and Alfredo Angulo. And you know, hey, there was a football game on tonight that many people touted as the game of the century between number one ranked LSU and number two ranked Alabama. And I'll tell you, I watched the first half of that game, but when uh, I switched it over to HBO, when 24-7 with Marquez and Pacquiao, and then with the fight that I'd been wanting to see for some time between James Kirkland and Alfredo Angulo. Now, I was, uh, I didn't make a prediction video for this, but I figured this fight was not going to last long. I thought maybe four rounds. It made it six, but I thought that Alfredo El Perro Angulo would win this fight, and he did not. Now, things looked good for him early on with the straight right hand that floored Kirkland, and it looked like he wasn't going to be able to recover from that punch, but he gets up, and Angulo look, is, goes after him, and it looks like he's going to win this thing, but as happens a lot of times to fighters, they get the other fighter in some trouble and they end up punching themselves out. And that's exactly what happened to Angulo here. Just swinging and swinging and swinging. And his arms just betrayed him. And he couldn't keep his defenses up. And Kirkland recovered. And this knockdown happened within 30 seconds of the first round. So, you know, Kirkland... Looked to be in trouble there for a bit, but he was able to regain his strength, his legs, and he caught Angulo with some shots and floored him, and it looked like Angulo wasn't going to make it out of the, the first round, but he was able to get up, and then the bell sounded, and he got through round one, but he was not the same fighter from that point on. He just, you know, you could see it. And just the punches he was swinging, like I believe Jim Lampley said, it looked like he was swinging in water. He was slow, and he just lost his strength in his arm. And, and if any of you have been in a fight, and maybe, you know, when you're a kid or maybe as an adult, uh, hopefully we're beyond that, but you know that if you get in a fight and you get kind of mad and you get kind of angry or you see that you're getting to your opponent and you just swing and swing and swing and swing. At some point, the muscles, I mean, you just lose. They become like jello. You just can't punch anymore. And that's what happened in Gulo. But you got to give it to Kirkland and you got to give it to his trainer. You know, they went out and they trained hard and they trained for this kind of fight. They knew what they were doing. A lot of people look. At, at the training methods of Kirkland's trainers being a little out there, but she went out there and trained him to fight this kind of fight. And that is what got him through the tough period, got him through the knockdown, and made him to where he could endure. And he was sharp. Unlike Angulo, he had the endurance to rebound and get back in there and just punch and punch and punch non-stop basically and this was just a all-out brawl slugfest and it was exciting to watch and it lived up to the billing and a lot of people said it should be a pay-per-view fight i don't think many people would have paid for it but to sit there and watch a fight like this you know hey it was it was outstanding i thoroughly enjoyed it uh so props to kirkland props to his trainer and, uh, you know, we'll see where he goes from here. A lot of people probably are not going to want to fight him. But uh, like Roy J Jones is talking about, I hope uh, Saul Alvarez fights him. I think that would be a, a good fight. Now, I want to talk a little bit about Pacquiao Marquez. That fight's coming up. I just want to say a simple, you know, prediction on this one. I think Pacquiao, it looks like he is a man on a mission you know, he's mentioned that Marquez has said he won the first two fights. And I think Pacquiao really is on a mission. And when this man's on a mission, he means business. So I believe this fight's going to go 
about seven rounds, and I think it's going to be over either a stoppage or a knockout. I believe Pacquiao is going to take care of business. Now, Marquez, certainly uh, a very good fighter, and it could go different, but I really believe that Pacquiao is going to take care of business here and win this fight with a seventh round stoppage or a knockout. And, uh, you know, a little more news from boxing coming from the Mayweather camp is that, you know, the thing that uh, Leonard Ellerby goes out and says, hey, May 5th, we've set the date for a fight and we want the biggest fight possible. And a lot of people have said that he's trying to upstage Pacquiao's fight with Marquez. Uh, could be, I don't know, but I really, I'm hopeful. I'm a, a, a eternal optimist, I guess, but I really think this might be a signal that we might get this fight. Now, uh, it could always fall through and we could always have the same little political things happen that, you know, knock the fight out, but I'm hopeful that we get to see this fight. So uh, we'll see how it goes, and I'm certainly going to want to be talking about this fight, and I know a lot of other people are as well. So I look forward to hearing what other people have to say, and uh, good to be with you for this fight tonight. Really enjoyed it, and until next time, this is Renegade Rousey.